Well, there are times when you think you've finished, and in fact you haven't. I've looked at this painting since, and something isn't quite reading right to me still. Not quite sure what it is. So I'm going to have a work on some warmer colours in the foreground, just to try and bring that forward and push the sky back. I'm also going to add a little bit more light blue to the background here, just to make those clouds not quite so pink, a little bit more um, into the distance, and see if that works. Just playing with a little bit of turquoise into the blues here, just to make these higher, warmer ones seem a bit warmer. And that cooler colour is helping to bring this out here a bit as well. So I think it is improving it a bit. It's just never quite sure which colours are going to be the ones that are going to, to help it. You can't always tell far ahead of time. In fact, it may even do this sky, um, may even help to finish it. It's surprising what colours you can miss and quite get right. Um, talking about the warmer colours, let me just mix up a little burnt sienna and white. And we'll just try a little bit warmer here in the foreground. If anything, we want something a bit lighter. Take a bit, a bit of uh, yellow ochre with that. Put some white into it. Just see if we can get any lighter tones going on here. To keep trying these things to, to find out what is just not quite there. And I'm going to try a little bit of Iridian and uh, a bit of Iridian and Prussian. Get a few darks back into the foreground. A, bit, a little bit stronger down the front here. Bring that forward of the sky. We often find that one colour comes into another, not only through reflection of light on objects, but it just helps to make it a bit more coherent as well. That brings out the blue light in it a bit more, rather than it being a, a vertical. Just a little touch of rose into that too I think. Tiniest touch. Talking of warmer colours, I'm just going to try a little bit of yellow ochre into the sky there and just bring a bit of warmth back into the sky. I seem to I like to bring some of one colour into another so that we try to link them together more. I'm just seeing a little bit more of this ochre in the sky, which seems to just help to link it, doesn't it? We'll just use a little bit of this. Yes, that's much better. So we've had the cool and now we just need to add a little more of the warm, which we haven't seen. And that sort of pulled the whole thing together, hasn't it? So it's um, surprising what you need to do. So I'll redo this film and add this section to it show how you can come back. If something isn't quite right, you've got to really work on it until you're happy. As I definitely feel we found it now. But it took some, it took some work, it took some effort. That's good because the painting now has far more of a unity to it. Just feel <coughs> you need to do a little bit more on the dark edge of this just to bring that tower out a bit again. I'm going to take some Prussian, a little touch of that brush working again, a little touch of burnt sienna, a little touch of burnt umber, sorry. And we'll just, just darken this edge, put it back on there, don't want that on there. Just darken this edge a little here against the light. Just small things now, just to finish off, you see. So I can make a difference. I think actually we'll, we'll leave it at that again and take another look at it, stand back and just see what we think. <laughs>